How's it going guys, Vlad here and I wanted to make a quick video about a problem that I've encountered over the weekend. So the problem itself was the sizing of a MOSFET uh, transistor in order to drive a relay which would drive a bigger load. Um, so this MOSFET was supposed to be toggled by an Arduino microcontroller, so 0 to 5 uh, voltage levels and the two issues that I've seen with the circuit that was designed um, Number one, it wasn't toggling appropriately, it was always conducting, so uh, there was a mismatch in the uh, threshold specifications for that particular circuit. And number two, um, we've actually burned a couple of uh, transistors due to uh, miswiring of the circuit. So I wanted to uh, quickly cover those issues as some of you are using uh, transistors, whether it is MOSFETs or BJTs, in order to drive bigger loads based on one of my previous tutorials and there are uh, still a few questions on how to size your own transistors uh, in order to drive bigger loads uh, what threshold voltages should you be looking for so yeah we'll take a look at some data sheets we'll take a look on a um, uh, on a paper design and I'll guide you through the process so yeah let's get started all right, so here's a data sheet for a typical N-channel MOSFET, in this case the FQP30NO6L model. So if we look on the data sheet, the first thing you're going to get is the pinout for the three pin device. You will have your gate, your drain and the source labeled accordingly. So the number one uh, thing, the first thing you want to pay attention to is the uh, location of this uh, freewheeling diode and as well as the and channel it indicates in which way does your uh, current flow in terms of drain and source so in this case uh, since the diode is oriented um, this way you would want to place your positive voltage on the drain and your ground on the source so we were driving a 12 volt load so you would want your 12 volts up here and your ground at the source and obviously your load would be um, anywhere in between that uh, current flow. So the first mistake that we've made is that we actually while breadboarding we inversed the pins, the drain and the source and that caused the uh, diode to conduct which in turn uh, caused the device to heat up and eventually burst up and smoke. So the second thing we are looking for for this circuit is the ability to switch uh, its on and off states based on the application of 0 or 5 volts from the Arduino on the uh, gate pin. So if you scroll down on the data sheet, you will find a you will generally find a section called electrical characteristics in which you will see the uh, threshold voltage. So this will be the voltage between the gate and the source pin. So in, in our case, to make it simple, the source pin is connected to the ground. So the VGS in this case threshold is between 1 and 2.5 volts. So what this means is that the transistor is going to start conducting. So it will be uh, in its on state whenever your voltage at the gate will hit uh, somewhere in between 1 and 2.5 volts. So as you can probably already tell, this is within the specs of the Arduino because we will be supplying five volts to that gate. So that means it will switch on whenever we send a um, high to that pin. So in contrast, if you want to double check in your absolute maximum ratings, uh, you can apply up to 20 volts on uh, in between your gate and source. So that means you will be perfectly fine with using this particular package and this particular MOSFET for your uh, application and then drive a 12 volt load which in my case was a coil of a relay. So that is uh, a, a good example of how you would size the MOSFET for your particular application. Um, and finally, one thing you want to uh, pay attention to is the drain current. So you will have a limitation on the current flowing from uh, drain to source, which in turn uh, limits the current that you're driving uh, your load with. So obviously if you have a uh, larger package you're able to drive bigger loads but if you have something that's a, a um, surface mount component it's gonna conduct probably 300 to 400 milliamps so make sure the load is uh, rated the same as your drain current.
So let's take a look at a P-channel MOSFET uh, for the same exact application. So the first thing you're going to notice is that your source is now going to bear the higher voltage and your drain is going to be the ground. So what I mean by that is the diode is essentially now reversed and that is based on the characteristics of the uh, P-channel MOSFET. So for my particular application, the source would have been 12 volts and the drain would have been the ground. <clears throat> Obviously the gate is still going to be toggled with the same Arduino uh, pin of zero or five volts. Um, so let's scroll down and take a look at the threshold voltage. So specifications, um, gate source threshold voltage. So the first thing you want to notice is that it's specified in um, for the P channel versus the N channel, it's specified in negatives because they expect your source to be higher than your gate. So as you can see, it is toggling between minus two and minus four volts. So it is coming from its off state into its on state whenever the difference between the gate and the source is uh, at least two volts. Correct? Correct. So if we scroll back up, and take a look at our numbers. So if you, if you want to follow me, the source in my case was 12 volts and the gate was either zero or it was five volts. So let's start with zero volts. So if we apply 12 volts here, zero volts here, the VGS is going to be minus 12 volts. So according to the specification of this device, it will remain on since the difference is greater than two volts. If you, if you toggle the gate voltage with the Arduino to five volts, the difference between 12 and five is going to be negative seven volts. Once again, the device, because of our specification, is gonna be on uh, since the difference is greater than two volts. So if you followed me, um, this device would not be able to toggle with the Arduino voltage and the uh, source uh, voltage that we're trying to use it with. So you want to watch out for that. It's something that you need to actually write down on paper and make sure that the numbers make sense. So when you pick your uh, transistors, whether it is BJTs or MOSFETs, make sure to always, always uh, check your pins. So you know in this case, the gate is always gonna be either zero or five and you know that your drain uh, in this case is going to be zero volts. So if you check your gate source voltages, you will right away know that it just, it doesn't make sense to pick this device. So make sure not to follow these traps. Always write down the values before you start building your circuits. And, um, yeah, make sure not to swap the source and drain pins. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions about the uh, MOSFET sizing, if you have any other concerns, if you run into some other issues that you cannot explain, uh, make sure to subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching once again, and see you next time.